Hi, I'm Heather. It's nice to meet you all. I am a dietitian and a diabetes educator and have been practicing for the last 23 years or so. And I became very interested in becoming a diabetes educator whenever I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes 30 years ago this year. I was diagnosed in high school and I'm sure similar to you all, the, you can understand the extreme thirst and the urination and the weight loss that was accompanied by my diagnosis. Um, I never will forget telling my parents that I thought I could put a straw in a lake and drink the entire lake and I would still be thirsty. It was just that unquenchable thirst that I, I know that you could probably relate to. So in my journey throughout my diabetes, I uh, have had amazing um, access to care. My parents were very much a part of my, um, my therapy management whenever I was still living at home and again was in high school and they would take me all around to get the best treatment, the best doctors, the best, uh, the best care. And it was interesting to me that, you know, I started on conventional insulin therapy just with NPH and regular insulin, quickly uh, went to um, multiple daily injections the first moment in time that someone had said, you, Heather, you should really be on an insulin pump. Why are you not on a pump? You have parents that are uh, very much a part of your care. They would be very supportive. We had access to health insurance. And um, you, know, you have really great technology that could help you manage your diabetes. And I, in my mind, I thought, I'm not bad enough for a pump. I've usually done pretty well with um, controlling my A1C, but you and I both know having a pretty decent or a good uh, A1C is not, doesn't mean you have the best control, right? I've always struggled with a lot of highs and a lot of lows, but my average looks pretty good. The specialist would tell me, you should really be on a pump. I don't know why you're not on this, this insulin pump. And this was back in the early 90s even and um, I didn't wanna have anything to do with it. I really just didn't think taking eight or nine shots a day, even back in those days was a big deal. Um, and I've always had the mindset of, I will do whatever I need to do to protect my eyes, my kidneys, my feet, and my heart. And um, it, in my mind, I just didn't need an insulin pump, nor did I want one. The number one thing that I hate about having diabetes, and I don't use that word hate very often, that I really dislike about having type 1 diabetes is having to eat whenever I am not hungry, like to treat a low. And certainly on injections, I had way more lows than I do today. But at the time, whenever I was learning about pump therapy, I had already become a, a dietitian. I was actually in my internship of my of the program to become a dietitian and one of the sales reps actually from an insulin pump company said hey listen you don't like treating lows i know you hate to eat whenever you're not hungry and what if i told you that there was a way that you could adjust the insulin on this pump that would uh, pre help to prevent um, or lessen the chance of you having to, to have low glucose. I would go to exercise, I'd go to the gym, and I would have a low glucose, right? And I was eating more calories and like the drinking the juice or, or um, maybe having a few peanut butter crackers or something like that to increase my, my blood sugar. Uh, I was having more calories than what I was burning off on the elliptical. I thought I'm going backwards in time. So what the pump did was afford me the ability to not have to eat, um, to have insulin work around me versus me always having to adjust my life and my schedule around the insulin. So for 22 years, I've worn an insulin pump and I've been on real-time CGM since my kids were born uh, oh, right, a, right around 14 years ago this summer. So what this pump is allowing me to do is to increase my control and I obtain better control with less work. 
I don't know about you, but I, I really never had diabetes burnout in the three decades uh, that I've, I've been diagnosed until kind of recently. And it was really in the last year or two where I was just becoming tired. I, I was tired of counting carbohydrates. I was tired of just testing and wearing a sensor and having a pump. And I hate to be like that because I know life could be so much worse and I'm so thankful for the technology that I have today. Uh, but I, I was just really getting weary of, um, of just living the day-to-day -day grind of having type 1 diabetes. The thing that I appreciate with this system is the ability to really put fact over feeling. Um, and by that I mean, you know, symptoms with type 1 diabetes over decades and decades, they kind of change right? Your, your highs, the way you feel with highs, the way you feel with lows, those guys can change. And um, you may not be feeling well. I don't feel like the system is working sometimes. Um, and what I like specifically about the Minimed 780G system is you can look at your time and range with a push of a button and you can see how much time are you spending in range it's, you know, I'm sick or whatever is happening. I, I have stress in my life and I just don't feel well, but my time and range is what helps me to know what am I doing to reduce my long-term complications. I really was excited to uh, hear about the auto basal insulin, the targets being lower. Um, the previous system I was on, the target was set up a little bit higher. And I always wanted to wake up with a little bit lower blood sugar uh, and sensor glucose in the mornings. And so uh, whenever I heard that this Minimed 780G system could do that, like you could choose a lower target, that enticed me. I thought, okay, that if I could just have a little bit better glucose to start off my day, so the Minimed 780G system has done a few things for me. It has really improved my level of control. I mean, my sensor glucose average is lower, I think partly because the target is lower uh, with this system than any of the others that I've, I've had access to. So that's a big difference. I mean, I'm waking up with, with lower um, glucose numbers. Uh, whenever my glucose levels are high, it is correcting me down to a lower um, target range, and so that's helping. And really, those two things together, uh, it, plus having the auto corrections to deliver whenever I maybe didn't time the insulin um, as, as great as I could have with food, having those three things really have helped increase my time and range and to lower my just my sensor glucose average. I am finding myself typically at softball and baseball games. Both my daughter and my son play um, softball and baseball, and I typically am eating at the concession stand as I'm cheering them on throughout all of those games. And so the other day, my husband brought me back a pretzel from the concession stand. I love pretzels. I don't know how many grams of carbohydrate are in this pretzel, if it's 50 grams or if it's 75 grams. And so it's so great to have the auto correction there as kind of a backup for me. If I don't enter the exact grams of carbohydrate, which I don't have to enter in exact grams of carbohydrate um, with this system, it really does provide some, um, some forgiveness, right? It doesn't allow me to forget my bolus, but it does actually give me some forgiveness if my insulin and my food don't match exactly. This does, system is not designed to, to, to just really cover our meals, but it is so great whenever you are a little unsure of the grams of carbohydrate. It's so nice to have that safety net in the background um, that can just deliver the extra insulin if it's needed. The biggest thing for me uh, from a user interface standpoint of view is I'm not having to interact with this pump. Besides having maybe a low reservoir and the pump reminding me whether you're getting low on insulin or hey, your battery is getting low or your sensor has expired, you've worn it for the, the seven days, 
besides those just system alerts, I'm not being alerted. Um, previous systems, I've had a lot of requests to enter in BGs. Um, it would say, hey, I need a blood sugar. I need you to test a, a blood glucose and, and tell me what that number is. I don't have that interaction like I used to with the pump. We are sleeping better. I say we, my husband and I are sleeping better through the night. He is always the one that would hear whenever previous pumps or CGMs would um, alert during the night. I think I could sleep right through it, but he's always the one going, Heather, your, your pump is going off or your sensor is going off. And um, that just doesn't happen anymore. Um, we, we have better sleep. I wake up feeling pretty well, um, you know, as far as a glucose level is concerned. And that's the biggest change for me with this system, um, less interaction and better control. And here's the deal, you guys, I'm not having to work as hard to get there.